we're starting. It, no, it's got to be. Yeah. No, it's. Uh, oh, uh, there it is. Hi, <laughs> everyone. Hi. <laughs> Didn't even get the finger gun or anything this time. No, we were, we were, we were and more special. Ready. Like we, we were. were ready. I, mm, I was too concerned. Mm. I was too concerned with getting the birthday hat in the frame. Yeah. Which, you know, important. Like, that, that was an amazing that moment is when the producer immediately shuts their camera yeah. off. Like, mm-hmm, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> it was an amazing last minute frantic okay. birthday hat assembly. That right. was pretty Thank impressive. You. Thank you. This is yeah. uh, this actually, this is actually, I did not get a chance to go out yesterday to get a hat. So this is my cousin's first birthday hat that was in my closet. Yes, absolutely. Uh, oh my God. We That's... accessorize where we must. Hell yeah. uh, hello, everyone. And welcome Hi. to this frantic episode of uh, Rivals, this frantic Penny Epi, Penny Epi episode of Rivals of Waterdeep. It's the Penny the, Epi. The Penny Epi. <laughs> the what? The Penny Epi. The penultimate yep. episode. Uh-huh. Thank you for using the whole word. No! No, no, I can't. Uh, no, I'm done. No. Brian, no. Uh, <laughs> I'm with Brian. I'm leaving y'all. Oh. No, you can't. It's yep. my Penny birthday. Epi with only four of us. Let's see. Yeah, I adore you. The only thing I got to do on this pen is be black and die. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, did you miss us? It's been a week and some really interesting stuff happened last week that we'll talk about in the recap but mm-hmm. uh you know Nothing it's week. stuff nothing everything uh yeah everything's I, under control mm-hmm. yeah exactly so let's go around and introduce ourselves uh starting with uh tanya <laughs> on my left sure uh hi i'm tanya i play sleece historio you're a paladin ranger Things happened last week. We'll get into them and pronouns for both Lisa, myself, or she, her. Uh, sorry, I was doing stuff. Uh, Shreef. Hey, uh, I'm Sharif. He, him, uh, playing Shaka, uh, Tiefling Celestial Warlock. Uh, also, he, him, as well. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about what happened in the recap. Looking forward to new stuff. I was about to introduce Eugenio uh, because they Kent and uh, Kent and Virgil and Eugenio and Brian were reversed on my screen, which is the oh, wrong no. thing. It's fine. Uh-huh. It's, it's we're the same. It's, it's, yeah, it's yeah, a, yeah. I'm actually I actually have I have Eugenio in the wrong place on my Zoom call, so I can't even. Oh, like, perfect! Look, I had you in the wrong place. Like, what is the matter with us I don't today? Know. It's, 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 <laughs> no. Well, Brian, please tell us who you are. Hi, <laughs> I am. Brian, uh, my pronouns are he, they, and I am playing Virgil, your Asimar or Asimar. I'm actually now not sure how that's pronounced, so I gotta mm-hmm. look that up later. Sorcerer, whose pronouns are he, him. Yay. Eugenio, please. Hi, everybody. I'm Eugenio. I'm DM Jazzyhands, and I will play uh, Kent, our phantom rogue Tiefling or Tiefling. I don't know. I'm not sure. Don't do way. that. <laughs> <laughs> I am so mad at you right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Off. <laughs> <laughs> Birthday is <That's> over. Hmm. <laughs> Rick Masood, please. Oh, it's me. Hi, I'm Masood. Uh, I play Gosric Nomrad, everyone's favorite social specimen druid. Um, both our pronouns are he, him, and that is how you pronounce gnome. Gnome, right? Yeah. No. It, it's not gnome. gnome. Okay. Like it's like gnome. gnome. Yeah, 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 like gnocchi. <laughs> you, yeah, you got a gnocchi. Yeah. Yeah. Just, send, just, just send gnudes. It's fine. Gnudes. <laughs> right. Oh, oh, my goodness. And yeah. uh, I am your dungeon master, uh, Lithuja Keys, who also plays the Aracokra or Aracokra, since we're going there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Monk uh, mm-hmm. Dahani, who is, who is here. Um, both of our pronouns are she, her, hers. And uh, if I haven't said it enough times, it's my birthday! Yes! yes. And I I have uh, promised not to kill everybody today, so. But I have been wished a bunch of natural 20s from a bunch of people on Twitter, so we'll see how that balances out. <laughs> um, did, so before... On your birthday, did they become like portent rolls when people wish you a bunch of like Natural twenties, oh, you just have uh, them now. Maybe it's your birthday. Maybe, maybe. 
Mm-hmm. Like everybody becomes divination wizards. Like, you know, they're like, oh, you rolled a one. Oh. No, here's it's a 20 now. You know, yeah. All of your NPCs, right? <laughs> Only your NPCs. Yeah. Only my yeah. NPCs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're, just gonna, they're just gonna like roll around and all of a sudden be like, eh. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I kind of like that. Every they, they they all get a bunch of legendary actions, basically. They can, oh yeah, there you go. They can just choose to succeed. Mm-hmm. It's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> um, but before we get into what uh the the aftermath of last week's uh shenanigans, let's take a moment to thank the people who spon- who sponsor us. I can't word today. Who sponsor us and make sure that we can still continue to do this. So uh, take it away, Sharif. Yeah, y'all, let's talk about our sponsors. Or is it pronounced Bones? I swear Bones. to I'm goodness. Sure. This it is comes not... in three, so that <laughs> has to be the never. last one. Because it was Tifling, <laughs> Gnome, and now Sponsor. So I love it. Very well Are done. Are we going <laughs> to... Yeah, let, let, let's uh, start with D&D Beyond. Uh, we have all our character sheets online. Um, we have access to all the source book material, access to NPCs, looking up spells, managing encounters. Rolling dice. Um, make sure to check them out at dndbeyond.com. Um, and we'll be giving away a legendary bundle as usual this week. So if you're listening live in the chat, uh, make sure to look out for the entry code um, so you can enter, enter in the raffle there. Must be present to win. So make sure to stick around. And if you're not listening live, if you're listening to the podcast or the VOD, uh, make sure to check us out live on Sundays. Um, at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, obviously, we're nearing the end of season 12, so we'll be taking, uh, you know, so we'll only be on for you know for a couple more Sundays. But uh, check us out there. Um, our dice trays and vaults are provided by Wormwood, W Y R M Wood. Uh, make sure to check them out at wormwoodgaming.com. Use the code Rivals for free domestic shipping um, on your products from there. Um, fill them up with some dice. Uh, we're proud to be sponsored by Die Hard Dice. Uh, you can check them out at dieharddice.com and use the code RIVALS for 10% off of your order at there. Um, and make sure to support the folks at Stormcrow if you want some other cool stuff in your house, masks, cups, um, Masood's cup, as a matter of fact, uh, shirts, all kind of cool stuff. It has uh, already shipped them out. this week. I can't already even use it this week. This it's week. already shipped. So you can get on the train. There's a wait list. You really hop get on the queue. Get on the yep. queue. Uh, go to shop.stormcrow.com and use the code Rivals for fifteen percent off of your order from from the friends at Stormcrow. Uh, if you want to sound oh so silky smooth like the Rivals crew, check out Blue Microphones. Crew.bluemic.com/slash Rivals. Um, we will get credit if you place your orders with Blue Microphones. There, um, of course, you know that. Shaka's in the video game Idol Champions. Tahani is in the video game Idol Champions. Selyson is in the video game Idol Champions. And we have welcomed Gosric, uh, Namrad to Idol, Idol Champions. Um, amazing character. Help you find some more gold. Um, has cold attacks. L- 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 looks like he's throwing snowballs, which is awesome. Uh, and believe it or not, I don't know how he convinced them to do this, but He's selling bobbleheads in the game, like the the. I I, I don't understand what he did, but he <laughs> made it happen. Masood, I don't know how you did this, but it was fantastic. Little mm-hmm. Easter eggs in there, uh, very very cool. You know, honestly, it, the folks at CNT Games were so accommodating with sort of the conversations that we were having about Gosric. And the moment I mentioned, I was like, "Yeah, here's the thing about Gosric is that like, he's got a stall. He sells Rivals merch, and it's like, oh, we could do that." There's always like a cart that we put out in idols, and I was like, "Kismet, it's very fun." Yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, make sure to uh, download Idol Champions. It is runs on anything, any any computer, any console. Well, not any any modern console. I just say I don't think you can run it on an on, on an Atari. Uh, though you could try though. Um, and uh, also make sure to check out the uh, familiars from uh, get from uh, Gehinio and Brian as well um and the uh other rivals fam like others you know some uh folks there from other shows that we rock with as well so make sure to check them out too um 
And uh, also uh, Warriors of Waterdeep, if you want another game to have some fun in. Uh, it's a mobile game, and if you type uh, well, WoW Gems, exclamation point WoW Gems in there, you can get your free gems every week. And I also forgot to mention with Idol Champions, if you type exclamation point code in the chat, you will get this week's Electrum chest that will give you some nice gear to uh, gear up any of the rivals or in, any of the other uh, friends there. So make sure to check that out. Make sure I was unmuted. I love this week's uh, Idol Champions code. I know B. Dave usually likes to like read them out as if they were like spells, but mm -hmm. this one just poses a very interesting question. Why is X's CODs? Told you, I put mm -hmm. a curse on them. <laughs> <laughs> it's as good a reason as any, really. Mm -hmm. That's fair. <laughs> Um, okay, so it's time. And I i mean, the birth they had is obviously my wish hat, but it won't stay on. So let's just <laughs> pretend that it's there. Great. Um, as we Great. get ready to move into my favorite part. And I want to see so many wooshes because it's mm, my birthday. It's all whoosh. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Birthday whoosh. Whoosh. Double, double the wooshes. Right. All right. Previously on Rivals of Waterdeep. Whoosh. Whoosh. Yeah. And then they go and chat. Yes. Dang, oh no, yeah. too many. Dang. Oh, oh no, goodness. some people were getting. Oh, oh no, sorry. Oh. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. There was a whoosh too far. It was one. Sorry. It was one whoosh too far. Yeah. What omen yeah, does that say about our campaign one. today? Yeah. I'm, uh, yeah. I mean, we do we say whoosh responsibility. We do. So like, we there do. is a whoosh limit. There, there uh -huh. is a limit. Okay. Yeah, post, we need to post yeah. a sign for the whoosh limit in chat. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you so much. I just love puzzles. I never like we don't like do shout outs, but I love I I love her channel. That is an awesome stream. So, yes. Yeah. It is and an also, awesome really nice. And also yeah. shiny new check mark, I think. Oh, that's Ooh, right. Yes. Ooh, yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Verified. Heck yeah, we love to see it. Uh, well, welcome to uh, welcome to the stream. We're about to play some D and D, and it's going to be uh, bananas. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I was about. I was literally <laughs> about again. to go. Oh, I was sorry. literally <laughs> about to spell it G G G Gwen Stefani. Uh, <laughs> like, oh I stopped God. myself though. But that's what came in my head. Yeah, that's what came in my head. Uh, you know, I'm just. I'm proud of all of us. Um, let's. What what happened last week, everybody? Um, we please. had a, we had two Salises and we had to deal with it because there's <laughs> there can be only one because what what, is, what rivals really has become in the last four seasons is in fact a Highlander campaign. <laughs> oh, true. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Last, the last yeah. episode is just going to be all of us like just. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. No, uh, our last our last episode ever should just be full on PvP at level twenty. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How dare you? It'll be uh, eight hours long. Uh huh. Uh, oh, <laughs> Celise. <laughs> Celise would just like she'd be like <laughs> Gosric first. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You guys say that it would like that someone would take Gosric. I'm gonna roll on that one on my first attack roll and end up <laughs> pasting myself in a glacier. Like For that's sure. just what's gonna occur. <laughs> <For> sure. <laughs> sure. Rosen, X just, just push Gosric off screen yeah, slowly. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah, okay. And, you know, we slide off. He's frozen off a cliff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. If he's frozen, we have to be real careful not to tip him over. Right. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so last week the there was finale, two Salises. There were two Salises. Uh, I know, right? Also, yeah, we, also, we started with we started with two Salises. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We can't forget yeah. uh, also most importantly last week, Shaka got to test some new material oh, and it went over God. fairly well until it didn't. You know what until I mean? Until it didn't. Yeah. That's true. Well, Shaka wanted to <sighs> keep the visage of the town hall. He wanted to make sure people knew that we knew how to handle ourselves mm -hmm. That's when right. uh situations came up so you know he chose to throw himself out there and uh simultaneously work on this new material that he was also working on <laughs> and, uh, it was an excellent it was an excellent it was a happy coincidence Absolutely. it was yeah, a happy yeah. coincidence and, uh, of the, events the rivals showed extreme uh responsibility and care at taking said shenanigans away from the public view and and handling them elsewhere. Yeah, my my favorite part was when I think I told everybody to stay and like a 
and like and it was like that's the complete opposite of what I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, we were Shock absolutely ready to be like, out, everyone so get out, safe, everyone get right? out. Yeah, like, <laughs> and then Chuck was like, I got jokes, don't move. And we were like, whoa. I was like, yo, <laughs> yo, I've been working Maggie for weeks. We can't have him leave. That's right. That's right. true. Yeah, we can't go out this way. <laughs> I had I had scenarios prepared for like who like like who among the npcs and dahani was gonna help get people out <laughs> i had like i had like a whole initiative thing ready like how if y'all are gonna fight what's gonna happen like what yeah. like what community lair actions were gonna happen during that fight Ooh, and y'all community just, lair oh community I lair actions that. yes i love a community it's, lair action. i had a i had a whole thing down, and actually yeah, please write that down. We, I need, am a, going we to. need a we need a behind the scenes to actually have you walk us through what you were gonna do. Definitely. <laughs> maybe I'll do. Maybe I'll 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 put it, I'll put it out in the thread this week. Um, but yeah, like you all, it it that went surprisingly well for yeah. crowd control and trying to turn over a new leaf, um, which it's hilariously gotta- was. He got a well, nap. I'm 20, sure right? Leaf appreciates oh, yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly I got right. something. It was, I don't think it was a nat 20, but it was something in the 20s. I think, yeah, I think the, good, opening, the opening in the set killed. And then right. sadly, the closing was not so great. It's like, okay. But that's okay. The closing was, the closing was, was workshop. Yeah. I, I, you, you don't know until you put it in front of a crowd. That's right. You know? That's yeah. right. I brought him too high. I had to bring him down a little bit. That is tough. That's you start at 11. How do you stay maintain that? Right. But you can't start at one because then they'll never get there with you. Exactly. Um, anyway, this has been stand up comedy with the yay. Rebels. Uh, <laughs> I, this is the podcast I want to run. Uh, let's see, we, in the let's see, in the kitchen, we um, we basically did the whole like the finger. It was this. It was the the yeah. as Spider Man meme. <laughs> like, okay, and um, basically ferreted out the truth. And the 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 one who was left over. Um, didn't give us much information. And then Kent also went outside for a mini uh, uh, soul interrogation. Well, yeah, and that also, that that also turned out. all about that. <laughs> no, did. we didn't. No, did. actually, did. you okay, didn't. Okay, I don't know if you it. did. Wait, okay. did, I don't know if you did tell us about it or not. I thought you um, did, but maybe not. You know, I, know. I like yeah. the DM's answer that I did, so. <laughs> no, no, okay. he did, but it, it kind of it kind of got lost in the... Uh, because oh, I, I, you know, because I was juggling three different things, uh, it kind of got lost in the Shaka set is starting to decline. I do remember. We that. have a situation in the kitchen. Also, there's a giant draconic spirit. Yeah, draconic spirit in the kitchen. Right. Um, ate, that ate the doppelganger before we. Yeah, that ate the doppelganger. additional right. information. Right. right. <laughs> the doppel- and the doppelganger was honestly a little bit too cool, calm, and collected about mm. being caught, about being found out. And yeah. about being threatened, like even the the performance of trying to pretend mm-hmm. anymore was not even was pretty lackluster at that point. Like, meh. Mm-hmm. I mean, she was like, "You got me." Oh no. Yeah, that's kind of how yeah, it was. Yeah, she was not like, great. Oh, no. Not great well, news. <laughs> well, also, and and this is a little bit because it, I did not plan this, uh-huh. but when when you all were like talking amongst yourselves. And you brought up the whole, and this is the plan to reform the town. And I was like, but wait, that was the fake Celeste that brought yeah, it up. Yeah. And the look on the look on Latia's face made that one line worth it. <laughs> how was, have we been like, no, that's the question I want to know. Is like how have we been being manipulated, right? Like in what ways? Oh for two what? seasons now, for right? Two like the seasons. St- the strings have been being pulled. Yeah. Two more episodes of season. That was seven. that was a long haul, and I was just like, oh wait. Mm-hmm. I did that, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. So, so Great. kudos to kudos to you, Tanya, for weaving threads that we we had no idea you were weaving, and that was just I I, I can't best best moment in the campaign for me. So, um, but yeah, the town hall is over. Um, like there are still people in the in the manor who are eating. Um. It's it seems to have gone well. Um, and really, if there's if there's nothing else that you all want to do before the day ends, then we can just kind of cut to the next day. The Smash aftermath. Cut. 
smash cut yeah, yeah after a yeah. restless I'm, night of sleep I, i'm yeah. uh, eating any remaining cookies <clears throat> any smash cut so I'm amazed, I'm amazed you left cookies for yourself to even have later right like i, I might ask maggie to make me a little special you know bag on the side you wow know? Okay. okay you know i'm mean, we tight like that you know <laughs> so we wake up and shock is puking his guts out from too much sugar uh-huh hmm Actually, Hello. that is a possibility. I might have to roll. Might have to do a save. Fail. A sugar yeah, save. Yeah, sure. Make me a make me a, a constitution sugar saving save. throw to re- to resist the the temptation yes. of the cookies. I guess save. Oh, are you, are you like serious? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's their okay. birthday. It's all. Serious. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Eighteen. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're fine. You know, yeah. That's a difficulty at twenty, so you're terrible. That that Thank tiefling you. constitution. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry, the DC was eighteen point one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was I like that we become 18. like a, a PPL D and D league. <laughs> like, <or a> PPL <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Uh, um, but no, you're fine. Like you, you, you. Like I'm pretty sure that you ended up eating most of the cookies, um, especially like during your set. Like you were part. Like I want to say, I want to think that you were like partially nervous about delivering oh, yeah. these jokes. That you were just like inhaling cookies between every joke. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Which probably du- would explain just why kept that running last out of the joke. kitchen, like coming yeah, in with water, and- like okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no time water, to the just last joke. Just short, like sugar just cookies. cookies. Yeah, <laughs> just drying out your mouth. Drying myself out. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> and you ate that last cookie and it just all went. That's why that last joke bombed. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was, no, I was like just, so they can't handle dehydrated. It's okay. Yeah. Dehydrated from cookies. Yeah, uh, I like that. Um, but yeah, the, the next moment, um, the next moment, the next morning uh, rolls around. Um you all get a long rest for whatever abilities that you may have used yesterday. Thank Everybody you, is, thank you, thank you. is hail hearty and fresh. Um, and when you come downstairs for breakfast, the manor is a little bit more, like I say a little bit more crowded in that there may be like three people there as opposed to like one. Mm-hmm. Um, and you recognize like two of them from the town hall. Like, like they're, 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 they are people who have, tr- who are trying to make an effort on their side as well as you trying to make an effort on your side. Um, but the day is the day is is yours. Um Dahani uh reports that um she was up early and uh went to go see the bebe because the bebe heard a lot of commotion yesterday and thought it would be best to stay in his little lair. Mm-hmm. Um Nice. But the bebe is fine. Really appreciate that instinct on the bebe's part. Uh, yeah, that makes no. me feel a lot that better about very, everything. Yeah, very, very good. Very smart. Very well. I was, yeah. wor- I was worried that the town hall was going to get people like stuff stolen from them. Right. <laughs> and, none, and of che- none of us have checked. It's just a baby dragon right. slinking beneath the seats, being like, "Yeah, I'll just, uh-huh. and I'll just take." That. <laughs> Ooh, family crest. Thank you. <laughs> Why do I have one shoe? Oh my god. Uh, Love it. Yeah. One yeah. shoe. Um. <laughs> Well, I mean, I do feel like we should probably, after what we said yesterday, we should probably take a moment, at mm-hmm. least some of us. I guess. I'll yeah, I think we should just deep, just, uh, well, will we have debriefed the night before? Or, uh, I don't know. I just feel like, uh, yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Cause, cause, you know, obviously Shaka wasn't there. Right. So we could right. say that y'all yeah. told me what was going on, unless we want to role play that out. Um, I- I mean, I think but the remember, basic. oh, go ahead. Now, remember, Salise and Shaka did talk before we all dispersed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. yeah. That is a good point. <laughs> yeah. Yes, right. Yeah. So, Salise is not happy that Shaka did not recognize uh, that the doppelganger was, was doppling us uh, for so long. Doppling uh, us? Is that a word? <laughs> <laughs> Some little doppel doppel. Yeah, pull. Uh, what I was actually going to say is we should, at least a couple of us should take at least a couple of minutes to like, greet and i hate to use this term because it makes it feel so smarmy but like glad hand with the people who have come to the inn like we should acknowledge oh, yeah, that absolutely. after yesterday there, should, so there like, should be an absolute moment of just normal uh morning normalcy i guess yeah yeah um and i do think that involves you know kent and his 
robe coming down to the common area and just saying, good morning, everyone. Welcome. We're glad you're here after yesterday. And, and then going and to the kitchen. Robe, which is a separate sent a separate entity. Oh, that, for sure. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and just then like and because just... he's never seen Kent this awake in the morning. Ever. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then I don't know if you follow me into the kitchen, but if you do, the minute I cross the threshold, <laughs> just like off, <laughs> like barely <laughs> eyes open, feeling about for the hot dark uh, honey, make me a, make me a performance check <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh we're you know we do not yet have it's a 15 okay 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 yeah it's good <clears throat> it's good you 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 uh you feel as if you have done a good job <laughs> great Great, good, because oh, that's, that's about that's all I can phrasing. give this morning. <laughs> right, I was like, <laughs> that was some phrasing. You feel as though you've done like, yeah. mm. <laughs> You know what, so that's Kent is going to run with vibes that. right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kent is going to take that uh, at face value and mm-hmm. feel like he did a good thing and then like sit literally anywhere in the kitchen and just his mug and his, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, his his brekky fist. His brekky fist. Oh no. But then, you know, once we feel like we have, uh, I mean, I, if anyone else wants to talk to them, but once we feel like that's done, <laughs> we should talk about what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I think it is definitely smiles as, as Virgil's wandering into the kitchen. And again, there's a threshold at which it's like, <sighs> but there are people here. So are they the same? Pretend. Are these the same people who stayed playing cards the day before? <laughs> those were, those those were, were the, the kids. kids. Yeah. Oh, right. Those yeah. were the kids. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The kids stayed all night. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the space kids. Yeah. Awesome. The space kids. Awesome. Kids. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I think oh Gosrick is, I, I want to have, can I say that because my ancestral, my draconic spirit consumed some of this doppelganger? I have some, like, this is gross to say, but doppel juice on me uh like for because they puddled right like after after yeah they they, 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 they totally puddled they totally yes. puddled right yeah and i would love to i want to analyze the crap out of this like i really i want to like deconstruct a method to like make anti-doppelganger spray or like something that they just like <laughs> yeah exactly there's like, just like a jar there's just a jar <laughs> in the kitchen that says do not use do not drink for yeah. gosrick only <laughs> <laughs> it's right actually next to the ice spider eggs mm-hmm. so like you got no one ends up going there anyways yeah <laughs> which like this. Uh, uh, yeah. We, yeah. we uh, later we can get it. <laughs> you, you can watch the pain slice stream. It's in the chat. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, so I'd you, love. Yeah. yeah. Um, you can make me a nature or equiv or 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 other equivalent check. And I, if you use anything other than nature, tell me why. I think part of me wants to say survival because I'm like literally just like looking at these components of it. And but I, at the same way, that does also feel nature. Um, mm-hmm. I'm you know, I'll do nature because I, I I think that, as you were saying, narratively fits better. And OK, so here's here's yeah. here's what, here's what we're going to do, because D&D Beyond doesn't quite do this. Mm-hmm. Make me a nature check, but tell me what your wisdom modifier is and we'll use that instead oh, of your intelligence nice. modifier. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, my wisdom modifier is a plus five. So with my proficiency, because okay. I'm proficient in nature, it'll be a, t- so we'll add a plus two to whatever the final roll is. Okay, um, perfect. Cool, thank you. Let's see. Oh. Okay, at 11, well, it's a 22. Nice. Yeah. 22. All right. So uh, again, remind me what it is that you are trying to like deduce from this. Gajrik wants to alchemically break down like, what is it about doppelgangers that allows them to shapeshift comfortably? Like there has to be something in their anatomy, like studying creatures. There has Mm -hmm. to be something that even if it's magical, if it's something, what's the trace element of it? And can I, can I reverse engineer a situation that every, like that we never have this happen again, that I like, like kind of like, Hey, a spray. And it's like, Oh, you just get wet a little bit. Fine. Oh, versus like, Oh, you're, you're de changing back into your uh, doppel form. Ah, I see. So like Mm -hmm. the equivalent of, of 
water bottle on a gremlin. Yes, exactly. Exactly. I think I'm glad we didn't have this solution when Celise was a doppelganger because I just can't imagine any of us spraying Celise with a No, that's the, the, <laughs> right. And then, now it's like, okay, guys, we, right. we have to do this. <laughs> can you can you imagine what would have happened if any of you had sprayed? If we got the, as soon you as you walk the wrong one. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Honestly, if we had if we had done it, there would have there would have been like, you know, a non-reaction would be like, okay, maybe this isn't working, but you ain't Celise. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, Fake right. Celise would have responded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, they did enough uh, character work to understand. <laughs> <laughs> Someone please very, very draw method. that. Very yeah. method. <laughs> yeah. Someone please draw that. Oh my god. Okay. It's Celise slowly reaching for their sword and standing up after just being sprayed. <laughs> right, just dripping. <laughs> oh, it wouldn't be slow at all. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Half the bottle just drops while he's right. still holding. Yeah, sorry. Oh um, no. Uh, but um, yeah, yeah. No, so so yeah, it it's it's gonna take you a while, but sure. with a twenty two, you definitely understand that they are made of. I mean, it is it is an organic material. Right. Okay. It is. Um, you're you're not quite like you know like without like above the clouds without like further means of like science yeah. or like maybe even right. like some 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 <clears throat> arcana um mm -hmm. you know our ar ar arcana checks or something like that like you you have an idea you have an inkling and you yeah. think that it could work but I, it needs more thought okay i think gosrick then might reach out to Virgil once they know that they're awake about like going to uh, the Temple of Gone and like talking to Zephyr who like has a workshop with like it's maybe maybe it's not directly like they do more mechanical work and like sort of like I know that's their space of uh, reference but they might put me point me in the right direction mm -hmm. but yeah we can get to that later okay mm -hmm. I'm distracted by Brian's drink. <laughs> what drink? It's uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You just drinking pickle about. juice this morning. <laughs> See what's happening. <laughs> um. Okay. So, uh, Gosrick, you spend. You know, I'm gonna say that takes you. That takes you about an hour. Like actually, like. Yeah. You know, doing some doing like some acid and base work. Like you, you know, you know enough about that. Like you're actually getting into like chemistry. Like you're you're doing organic chemistry this morning. You see Gosrick oh, pull out go. his like mortal and pestle, which has just got like it's a hunk of like um uh petrified wood that he's got like a little like a uh, piece of uh, nice. uh like a etched into it a star, but not a star, um, a snowflake symbol, the same as his medallion. Cool. And it's like, yeah, yeah. Uh that you just see that working on it in okay, the kitchen. Now that's merch that we should like. That is basically we're gonna open <laughs> yeah. up a pampered chef out of troll school. Oh, yes. <laughs> Wait, I don't see the what do you mean? Kitchen accessories and kitchen tools. I I don't see a market for virtual <laughs> pulse of us. Yeah. <laughs> love it. Um Ooh, go ahead. Who was about to say something? Please do me, but I want. But then you started to say, and I wanted you to, to go. <laughs> no, I will let you go. Okay. Um, I was just gonna say while that's happening, if Celise is up for it after Mike after Ken's conversation with the doppelganger, um, I think I would just want to have a conversation with Celise about like <laughs> where she was and what she saw and like if she can guide us back there, if that's a decision that we want to make. Because oh. obviously there are more, based on what the doppelganger said, there are more plans for us. And we need to know what that is, in my humble opinion. So that would be my morning conversation with Celise if she's feeling up for it today. I know it's been a long um, year, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> You have, to, you have to go couple to months. Celise, though. Months. She is not downstairs with you all. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. And I and it would it would definitely start as like a, how you doing? <laughs> he finds Celise, like, buried under the covers and Fenris. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I hope you have coffee. Kent looks down at the single, still two-thirds <laughs> full mug in his hand and goes, uh-huh. <laughs> a fresh <laughs> cup of coffee. Uh, it's uh, mm -hmm. two seconds. You got uh huh. <laughs> Run downstairs, get more hot dark bean juice, bring it back up. 
Uh, yeah, I do. <sighs> that, that makes you make Celise laugh a little bit. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. What do you want? Well, to check on you, first of all, I know yesterday was a lot. Mm, you don't say. <laughs> you okay? No. Okay, fair enough. Do you want to talk about it or you want some time? You're here and you brought me coffee. She's like sitting up, like rubbing <laughs> the sleep out of her eyes. She's got yeah. like her, t her like, I don't know, what would be like the equivalent of like a sleep shirt? Like a sleep tunic? I don't know. Oh, yeah. You could I mean, just say sleep shirt. Mm. There you go. She's just like, still like, like, I don't know if to you be weird, but she's like very like, doesn't want to let Fenris out of her reach, almost mm -hmm. like a security blanket. Mm -hmm. So she's like petting Fenris with one hand while she's enjoying the coffee. Um, I mean, you know, we can sort of start wherever you want. There's definitely like, business stuff that when you're ready we should talk about we should I mean we should talk about what happened and you know if if you know stuff and where they are and but all of that can wait I mean we've managed to stave off doppelgangers a couple of times they can they can hold another day or so if you need time mm, well, I mean they kept me in a weird pod thing so. Did you, were you around anyone else? Any of them? Any other prisoners? Mm, for a while until they figured out how to, I guess, doppel, clone, whatever. <laughs> doppel me. Doppel me, I guess. Um, so to, to give you a, a, a brief summary of, of what went on while Celise was, yeah, there we go. Um, <laughs> um, uh -huh. So to, to remind everybody, during the during the year <laughs> to remind Brian <laughs> during the during the year wow. break that happened at the beginning of uh Brian and Eugenio's season, mm -hmm. we all went to go do things. Um one of those things was Celise going to find herself and to reacquaint herself with Tyr after her reven revenge plots and things being um, unfolded that, you know, kind of put a different spin on everything that had happened surrounding that. Um, so at some point during that, um, it is unclear when, um, at some point during that, Celise was um, overpowered, uh, taken to some kind of weird doppelganger home base where it doesn't take much for a doppelganger to impersonate somebody, but we'll say, a, they need to, you know, it's a series of wisdom checks and wisdom saves to get deeper thoughts. And so yeah, yeah. resistance, Celise, but they wore her down mm -hmm. and had enough information that they felt that they could come back and impersonate Celise for seasons 10 and 11. 11 and 12. 11 and 12. I literally <laughs> I thank did you. The I was same literally thing. about to say that. So, <laughs> I was sitting here for going, last, wait. For last season and this season, Felice has been a doppelganger. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Um, I mean, I, I guess... Right now, Celise, I think we can sort of go through as much or as little detail of this as possible. But I think when we're ready, I think the most important thing is that if you're up for it, like you help us find that place that you were being held uh, and we can sort of head that way and see what's up. I have a lot of other questions now about you and Tyr and doppelgangers, but but maybe maybe those can wait. <laughs> Kent. And she's like, just still kind of rubbing her eye. <clears throat> you came and woke me up. Granted, you brought me coffee, but what do you want to and, ask? Well, I, I mean, I genuinely wanted to ask what you needed and to let you know that when you are ready, that we are not in a hurry, but when you are ready, I think, I mean, I know that you are you know, your oath to tear is no longer one of vengeance, but it does feel like a little doppel payback is in order. 
Um, oh, if we find this place again, I'm going to burn it to the ground. Absolutely. So, you know, but for now, I genuinely came up to say that and to see if you needed anything. Hmm. And Celise is going to probably surprise Kent by reaching out and tugging him a little bit. It's like, I could actually use a hug. Oh, well, yeah, that's easy, of course. Uh, <laughs> is Fenris what? also, well, I'm just thinking of Fenris, uh, cause when, <laughs> is Fenris the type of dog that, uh, the type of, of, excuse me, dire wolf puppy, uh, who like gets real protective of physical contact with his owner. <laughs> Because no, that happened he... a couple of times where we were dog sitting. The dog would bark <laughs> at me when I hugged Sam because he thought I was trying to do something to him. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> like, no, it's okay, really. Yeah. Uh, no, because I would dare say at this point, you, like, everyone knows Fenris better than real Celise does. Oh, sure. Um, because she basically met, like, got acquainted with, with Fenris' puppy mm -hmm. and then was stolen away. So... Um, he scoots over and he just kind of like leaves his snout on her leg, but he makes room. Okay, cool. I mean, I'll, you know, give him a little, a little pat and, and yeah, gives Lisa a hug. Um, but either way, she, uh, she, she's glad for the contact because it was yeah. very lonely being in the doppel pod. Yeah, I bet. And uh, you'd be surprised that, like, she she doesn't want to, like, go right away. Um, yeah, I mean, I think maybe a moment of surprise, but, like, it's been a couple of months. And, like, Gosrick was only in captivity for how many days? And still, like, that was a lot. And, you know, we all, <laughs> we all felt real bad about that. So, yeah, I think the yeah. surprise is, is momentary, but, but I'll stick around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and of course then she's like, you didn't you didn't see that. That I, I saw what? I was petting the dog. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm just big smile. Is everyone else up? Uh yes, yeah. he says, looking to the other four zoom boxes for yeah. confirmation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah shock. Yeah, shock will be up. Um so shock is looking to see if he could find out what what makes a doppelganger. So like kind of different from what Gosrick is looking for. Gosrick is looking for like the sort of chemical deconstruction of it. I'm more looking for, is it like you cast a spell or there are like components? Do you need like a strand of hair or something like that? Because I want to know if possibly somebody has been gathering this stuff from us and creating these doppelgangers of us. Because I imagine it seems like the kind of thing where you, where you can't just say, I want to be like this person. You have to have some kind of component of them, like some mm -hmm. something personal to them or something, you know, as, as I said, could, could be a physical part of them. Um, so so like uh, Shaka is kind of like looking through some books and maybe contacting some uh, some folks that he knows to see if he can get more information on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um you may also make me a, a an investigation check. Huh. Um, I'll say you can uh, you can make that with advantage. Okay. All right. Nineteen. Nineteen. Wonderful. Um, so your uh, your research into doppelgangers it is very nobody really knows where they come from or like what they are like made of what allows them to take the shape of somebody else. Um, but you do know that like all that it really takes is for them to have seen you, you know, to see, to have seen you or interacted with you and your experience with them in Candlekeep is that they can kind of like glean surface thoughts from you to get a better idea of your, you know, to, either gain information from you or in what appears to be Salise's case to better understand a person for the purposes of impersonating. Um, you got a, did you say you got a 19? Yes. Okay. Um, so, and then you also find out that like doppelgangers usually 
once they have found somebody that they want to impersonate, they will do that and then kill that person to effectively replace them. So you find it interesting that they did not do that to Celise, like that Celise was able to make her way back here. They totally killed Thane. Vaughn? Uh, I I remember his name, but I know who, I know who you're talking oh, about. Oh, from Candlekeep. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, I, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I, was, like, I, I, was, I thought they I thought they confirmed he was dead. Yeah, I was I was totally thinking of the Flash, but I I'm, <laughs> Thon, oh, yeah. Thon. oh, that's but, Thon. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh no. Is that like pronounced? No, sorry, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, no. Uh, Okay. Yeah. No. No. I I I, I I've been from Candlekeep. Got it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah, I mean, that's you know, Shock is uh, he's because like, yeah, he remembers the ones at Candlekeep, and he to 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 to, to them, those are just like monsters with rivals masks on, like they're kind of mm. like not, but but like, but Celise, right? Like, this has been a very convincing, like, you know, talking with us, like, you know. Uh, sh- sharing stuff with us, having those same intonations and everything. Um, this was a this was a job, right? So, so I feel like this one is you know more uh, intriguing to Shaka uh, and more like worrisome to be honest. Like, mm-hmm. like he's really like, is there some kind of like somebody coming to the manor and like gathering like I don't know our DNA or something and you know something like that like. Mm-hmm. Um, well, you you also know that like it's it's not so it's not so molecular like really they all they just have to see you and like glean those surface thoughts and in Celise's case like they kept her a while and she kept thinking about stuff so it's just like got it. Um. So yeah, uh, it seems like at least a couple of you have some plans for the day. Uh. uh Virgil, because I was about to call you Brian, because apparently, like, we exist in, in Waterdeep and our characters don't. We do. We have to decide mm-hmm. who we actually are in Waterdeep because we're we're somewhere. We are. Um, was there anything in particular you wanted to do for the day? Um, no, I think Virgil was was basically probably going to be a little more present around the manor if people were there like instead of doing reading in his room or or in like the separate reading area he'd probably do it in the full view of things um but if Gosrick has an idea to to try and uh ferret out some kind of magical science then Virgil would be down with that but otherwise yeah Virgil's just basically like you know like oh yeah perfectly normal days perfectly normal things <laughs> You've like we've we've had the abnormal now. We can have a couple more normal days. Eh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, it I mean for all intents and purposes aside from the drama of yesterday, it is a normal day. Which feels a bit more pleasant given the fact that you had a little bit of drama yesterday. That other shoe finally dropped. Thank goodness. <laughs> Truly. Now I can it was too quiet for too long. This is not okay. <laughs> and the worst part is we all knew, right? Like we knew, but what yeah. could we do about it? <laughs> can, can, can Shaka during the day kind of step outside and see if those uh, blue Aracocra have been messaging about the hall like what's the buzz like what's oh what's good, about? good read yeah good read. hashtag the hall you know what, what's, what's, uh, <laughs> you know um yeah uh go ahead and make a um you can do a a perception or investigation okay all right 14 14 sure so you walk around the area around Troll Skull Manor a little bit. And yeah, those those blue uh Aarakocra are every every couple of blocks or so. Like you get the idea that like each Aarakocra is like meant to dispatch news within a radius. Yeah. And then like, you know, they're kind of positioned everywhere. Um 
there it, because it's the next day you're not you're not hearing much more other than uh adventuring party rivals of troll school manor hold town hall in north ward um some of the Aarakocra are giving really contrary information about your jokes and the situation Ooh. that kind of developed around that. Like, like while while Shaka delivers jokes, massive battle happens backstage or um like you know National Enquirer. <laughs> a little a little bit, a little bit. Um, tabloids. But the, the, you you also understand that it, it it's kind of based on what people have been telling them. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like some of those people who weren't going to say things about what happened at the town hall have gone to people and the air coker and they're like, well, they had to go to the back and deal with like a double, like a, a double person situation. And I heard that blah, 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 blah. blah. Right. And you know, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> gossip, 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 gossip. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the air coker are uh, are being very favorable about your jokes, though. Like, you also get the impression that their information is kind of based on what people are telling. Them. Okay, all right, sweet, excellent, excellent. Um, so yeah, this day, this day kind of continues without incident. Um. And we we can smash cut to the next day and and then twelve days later. Celise <laughs> 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 um, is uh, is there anything uh, you've been holed up for most of the day? Um, do you come down for food at all, or do you have food brought up? I think by dinner of the next day she'll come down, but she's like. Fully armed and armored and kind of standoffish. Understand. She she may stick more to Kent than anyone else. So mm-hmm. like Fenris on one side, Kent on the other. Yeah, I mean, I and I can come downstairs and check on everybody else and like get lunch since that's you know you still want some time up there and sort of let everybody know like you know she's not okay, but she will be and. She'll be down when she's ready, and then we can sort of talk about next steps. But uh, you know, if y'all, if we want to think about that for whenever she's ready. Excellent. Um, and Fenris, when you move, Solis um, is like glued to your hip. Good. And like he he whines occasionally. Like you get the idea that even he might feel bad that he was duped. Oh, pupper. But. Uh, but yeah, he's he's like attached to your hip whenever you go anywhere. Hopefully, he lets me go to the privy alone. <laughs> yes, Look, he's but, not a cat. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but, like, but he does wait outside the door. <laughs> Look, I've had some cats that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, he does. He he waits outside the door at least. Um, but yeah. the the days the days kind of continue like this. You know, it's there is a little bit of tension in the manner in in terms of like Solis was a doppelganger. Are we sure we're not doppelgangers? Right. And then you know begins a very uh, comical uh, series of events that leads to people trying to verify each other's identities or something like that. Um, but when when things have I'm not going to quite say lightened, like lightened. I'm going to say calmed down a little bit, or at least the mood has kind of returned to where it was before Celise walked into the door. Um, You all can gather. It doesn't have to be in the kitchen. We have an office and other rooms. Mm -hmm. But the kitchen just kind of seems like the place. (laughs) Things happen. That is where where things happen. Okay, every party... You know what's going on in the kitchen. Just gonna say Absolutely. every party. Absolutely. True. Uh, but yeah, um, once things have kind of reached a a level of normal normalcy that you're confused about yet okay with, <laughs> um, you all can conv- you all convene in the kitchen to discuss what has happened. I mean, I think we should start. 
with anything that you feel up to telling us about, Celise, uh, tactically, or if you heard uh, anything about their plans, or because the spirit of the one that was uh, imitating you just said they have lots of plans for us. Mm -hmm. So something else much deeper is going on, but we don't really have any idea where to start. Except that we're sorry. That for sure, that's a good place. <sighs> Let's talk business first, feelings later. Okay, well, here are the books. Gazek brings out. Well, you've been gone. There's been a bit of improvement in terms of our and standing. And she just like gives Gazrick a withering glare. No, uh, Gazrick sticks uh, sticks with it though, because he's like, "You've been gone," uh, uh, and Gazrick. Well, I'll just do it in character. Hey, you've been gone for a while, and I think you need to know, we have been making financial moves that I think we need to analyze because they may have been a trapping of our own making or a an idea of someone else's uh, folly that we have continued on with. So here are our finances. Here, are I know this is probably not the most interesting to you in terms of our ins and outs and what's occurring, but, and the Gazik then just starts like explaining why the town hall was happening, why we're trying to like do what we're doing with our money. And like, I think like get caught up on that capacity. And like, and so... In terms of that, also, um, yes, it, like here, it, I, I'm sure this is your portion of gold and like slides like a chest with like 60K over. Uh, it's heavy because he's, he's got eight strength. So I imagine that is <laughs> very, very um, heavy. Yeah. So Salise interrupts him yeah. by planting a dagger into the books. Mm. Jesus. And she also does have the note of like how much gold they should have gotten. Yeah. He's like, you're short about 6,000. Oh, okay. Just top it. <laughs> Just top it off the relay from the horde that's behind us. Right. Um, so, so Salise is just like, she actually just leans back and like actually puts her feet up on this chest. And she's like, look, from what I can tell, they eventually wanted to replace all of us with doppelgangers. <sighs> and use us as a way to overthrow the open lords and start from there as much as as much as ah. we hate to admit it people know who the rivals are we've got a yeah. reputation we're pretty well known as adventurers and if anybody could take out the open lords and the not so open lords it'd probably be us because these doppelgangers would be doing this other organization's bidding hmm. do, you, do you know how to get back to where you were uh taken probably i mean i've been traveling a while but it started in yeah. candle keep yeah because I, I think we need to go to the source and mm -hmm. i mean particularly if out. you feel like or heard that the doppelgangers are working for yet another entity like that's our only lead right well this or entity west, i should say maybe not four i just feel like there's there's a plot of foot to take over Waterdeep and go from there right yeah i i i also hate to admit but from my knowledge of doppelgangers th this feels bigger in terms of mm. movements and machinations like coming off of dealing with the elder worm and the xanathar mm. and tandem it feels something of that nature might be pulling their strings but hey i might be wrong right like it might just be a very clever doppelganger who's in charge of it all but these movements these actions to be as bold that you as they have been i'd imagine it requires allies of some kind oh absolutely mm -hmm. remember we've we've gone to avernus we've now dealt with the well you dealt with the worm or whatever it is mm -hmm. which like carnival I feel it's almost like someone with a vested interest in taking over all of the realms is doing this. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if all those things were connected. Like maybe someone pulling the strings for all those different things we were in. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's, I mean, that's someone 
somebody pulling the strings on a, a settlement of doppelgangers. Uh, I mean, if we really want to include everything, a, a, a demon lord, a yeah, great grots, worm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't think, yeah. you know, I don't think whoever this is maybe set up the great worm, but they knew about it in a way that would get us involved if that's sort of the direction that we're thinking. That's, I mean, that's I mean, a I lot mean, of I mean, power. They could have... They could have struck deals with, I mean, I mean, I'm not saying that they're controlling or created them, but they could have struck deals or manipulated. I'm, I mean, I'm just, you know, speculating. We don't know for sure, but. No, but you're right. Do you, you would know better than I do. And I hate to even suggest it, but I think after what you all told Virgil and I about the worm, is there any chance it's the Xanathar? Oh, once you say that, you see Sharif's, uh, uh, Sharif. You, it happened you, to you. Sharif walks that's how in. extreme it is. Yeah. 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 It happened to myself. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's awful. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, you see, you, you see Shaka's eyes just dart yeah. straight down. Yeah. Uh, because, oh. you know, he, uh, yeah, he didn't get a chance to confront yeah, you know the Xanathar in you know um, when when uh, when uh, we were over you know um, in Frostfell. So mm -hmm. so he kind of looks down. I don't think it's really a fear. It's more like a no. kind of like a shame, you know. So he kind of like when you say that, his eyes kind of dart down a little bit. I mean, I mean oh, yeah, go ahead. No, no, I it was that's <laughs> that that is our space filler. I mean. <laughs> Well, Salise was thinking, and it's like outside of the game. I was I was gonna do a religion check, and I'm like, oh, my religion's not great anymore. Thanks to here for that falling out. Um, wow, not you taking advantage, taking credit for that. <laughs> um, but she's starting to think of like what she knows, like what she would have learned in her paladin training, and she can only come up with someone like Zariel. We defeated Gratz. Asmodeus, like Could be. who who else is that powerful? Mm. And she starts Zariel. to think about, I mean, Zariel, we have gone to Avernus. Mm. Yeah. And she's just like ticking off names in her head. And she's, and if anyone wants to expound on this, please stop me. Or DM, yeah. please stop me. Um, <laughs> so she's nope, thinking, letting, letting y'all go. Nope. Uh, so she's thinking there's Zariel, Asmodeus. We have no interest to the mist, so Strahd is out. No. What about Tiamat, the Raven Queen? What? I mean, mm. so what about think... someone within Waterdeep? I was wondering if, if we're wondering about large powers in play trying to affect the nature of the city, if this is something that we should and you can kind of see his shoulders like tense up if, if we should actually tell Mert about both Laurel and Vajra did stop by while you were gone, but I don't believe that we would, I would not feel comfortable bringing this to them without something more. And Mert seems like he simply has access to more information than he ever shows. Mert the money lender? He's the only we've dealt with him quite a bit in the last few months, and he's the only other masked. I think this is true that he's the only other masked lord of the city masked that lord. we know. Yeah, he's like we've open, been able yeah. to identify. After set after yeah. after taking us through the events of of getting the the baby worm, it seemed like he knew something. And during that, he did say that in his own way. He was trying to protect Waterdeep, so right. right. Perhaps he would know something, mm. or or at least would be the one for us to tell that we think there is reason to believe that the Mask Lords may be in some danger. Like you said, we don't. That sentence that I just said, I am not speaking to Laryl Silverhand, the Open Lord of Waterdeep and Chosen of Mistra, but I'll say it to Mert the Moneylender. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Well, I'll do we invite Mert here and inform him of the good news that I'm back. Can I ask, and this might be out of, well, no, actually I think Kent would ask if Salise knows, like how, how long did it take you 
Like how far away do you think the place where you were being held is? Because if that's close enough, we could try that first to maybe get a little more information before even we talk to Mert. But if it's, you know, several days, then it might be worth chatting with Mert first. It's, um, it, it's, it's several days. It's several oh, days. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So then, so yeah, maybe Mert is just a heads up to Mert is the first step. Mm. Okay, because out of character, I was thinking it would be like the ironic. I was that close. Like when you get a when you get like a oh yeah a quest in a game and you turn the corner and it's right yeah. there and I'm like you've been standing here yeah. all this time. With this right. well. I was thinking about the description of Solis when she walked in. Like she'd been traveling for a while. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. right. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Um. Now, just because this is obviously huge, we don't seriously think there's any chance that Mert's behind it, right? I mean, like you see, said, that's, he's doing that's, it to protect. That's what, and I, and I look, can't he's help done everything right. <laughs> Ish. Right. <laughs> right. In the <laughs> end, everything that he though. did to us was ultimately in our favor in the long well, run. I, but that, that scares me I feel more. like he stumbled into ends it. Can yeah, I, I, I agree. Right? Like, yeah. So, oh, so this is where Celise, oh, sorry, go ahead, Virgil. No, go ahead. No, this is where Sleece just kind of raises an eyebrow and going, you didn't notice the other me wasn't me. No. And she clearly didn't act like me or she did it. She wasn't right because because Virgil realized who was who. What if Mert's a doppelganger? And you don't know Mert well enough to tell the difference. Oh, how do we test? Test? No, we don't. How, how do we test? I don't I'm know. I'm working Spray on it. I'm, I'm, I'm really, We're I'm not working spritzing on it. Mert. No, 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 no. no. Let me, Let's okay, do well, it. Let's do it. I would totally um, spritz Mert. Here's, here's the issue, bro. <laughs> we, if we like, now we just get him a spritz. dirty jawbreaker, I'm going to spritz him. <laughs> I mean, and, so, and some Melchenberg wine, you know? Okay, I'm not mad at that. But, um, <laughs> no, I mean, Everything that we did, all of the things that we went through going to the noble families was supposed to fulfill bringing a dragon protector back to the city. Yes. That, I mean, if we're, we're talking about big strings, long games, and huge powers, that's a lot of things to put in play. Now, out of character, I can't remember if y'all had dealings with Mert before this. Oh yeah, we started our show meeting Mert. One. That's what I yeah. thought. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, when you and he kind of like when you talk to him about the uh, oh goodness, who was it who? Wait, I'm trying to remember who was it who talked to him about about sending over basically the Uber Eats for the for the dragon. Was that all of us oh, together? Just all kinda, of you, yeah. I think it was okay. all of us. I was just like, did you know? Did it seem like he was? Did it seem like he was agreeing too easily, or you know, it's it's really hard to read. I, I well, he's see, always you know. been a, a a little off kilter. He's very hard to read uh, from my perspective, at least. Um, he obviously has a lot of resources, a lot of means. Um, personality wise, though, it's kind of hard to see if he would be the kind of person that would do that. But, ah, but Celise brings up a point like, we've we've been fooled by doppelgangers a lot, and we, uh, I don't know, too many to be honest. (laughs) Yeah, like, I, I I feel like we need to, we need to, I feel like we definitely need to go to wherever Celise is being held. Okay, I feel like investigating Mert as well would be. To just a little background um, checking, yeah, just seeing what he just seeing, you know, what kind of answers the questions he have. He's already like coming by to take care of the the uh, baby dragon on occasion. Um, and right. like Gazrick is working on you know his uh, his uh, spritz, you know? his what? Um, <laughs> his spritz. <laughs> spritz. <laughs> God. How did I already forget about the spritz? Um, <laughs> Remember, Celise wasn't around when that. Oh, that's right. You were upstairs. Yeah. Just a, it's I don't think. Just I, a, it's, I think it's I just a little doppel spritzer. It. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. A what? <laughs> doppel spritzer. It's really simple. We don't really have a, a sprinkler system here, but so we can't do like an emergency shutdown valve. But I definitely we're... think we can set up a certain amount of security around it. 
Um, due to due to all of the due to all of our dealings now with being fooled or duped or played by doppelgangers, we are trying to work on a way to at least detect them. Since mm-hmm. whatever they're doing, it's it's too good for us to read on a surface level. Yes. Now, I don't want I don't want to go down any kind of rabbit hole, but let me just real quickly say, as we investigate Mert, that like we don't know how wide this has gotten. So my first instinct was Mert seemed to be old friends with Dernan from the Yawning Portal, but what if Dernan's a doppelganger? What if Zephyr's a doppelganger? I, this well, is, that's this, what I mean, right, like, is that it's yeah, hard it to investigate deep. until we have a sense of how to address the doppel problem. And I'm I trying to on it. Where, I mean, <laughs> we need but, a witcher. Well, or someone maybe who we can- need, We need a, a spritzer. A spritzer. A spritzer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think right, maybe so coin to your spritzer is what we need. <laughs> goodbye. Get out. Sure. No, really, goodbye. I'm leaving. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I mean, we're... I don't have the knowledge or the ability to <sighs> confirm around this. I only have, and he puts up the jar, this much like alchemical component to work with. And I don't want it to fall in the wrong hands also do can we do we keep everything in the manor do we do everything here and try our best and just assume that we're heading in the right direction or how far do we extend their circle of trust well unfortunately i think the people that we pretty solidly can trust are the people we just said we didn't want to go to because we didn't know enough but Laryl and Vajra have no reason to want to overthrow the water city the the water city the water deep city government right because they're already at the top of it right it would not behoove them right but anyone else and 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 if they had already been replaced then Mm -hmm. the jig is up anyway right 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 Maybe what do we, we want? Yeah. Maybe we have to go. Maybe you continue that and we have to go yeah. to where Celise was held first. Maybe we can get some more double we'll juice find for you. There. Yeah, we, I agree. We'll, we'll find answers there. Either yeah. Look, either we just get revenge on whoever took Celise, which to me is great. Which or is fine. maybe we'll yeah. uncover to what we're saying. Maybe we'll uncover some kind of plot or plan to like, mm-hmm. you know, take control of these key people. You know, I feel like. At the very least, we get get like revenge, but it also tie to mm-hmm. all this other stuff that we're worried about. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, I've got an idea. I'm going to. Um, I think we might need to. I hate to say it, split up. Oh, some of us needs to go. I mean, especially after this conversation, some of us need to go to the location to gather more information. And I do not trust leaving Waterdeep unprotected while oh. we are gone. Someone else coming, like, that's the perfect opportunity for, so, for a, a house of doppelgangers to swoop in and say, we're the rivals now, and just take our roles. Whoa. So in that notion, um, who's planning on going? It, it sounds like, Shaka, you really want to investigate a little bit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I doppelgangers don't they don't imitate items. We knew this when Celise came in with their uh-huh. original armor, with their original sort of the pieces that they cannot mimic. Okay. So I had this built a while ago and I take out my like token of recall and I oh, say right. so this only you and whoever you choose to take with you can use this to come back to the uh, to Trollskull Manor immediately. So at the very least, we can, I can be sure, I'm going to assume that if this token is used to come back here, it will be you all. It will be us. Yeah. Unless, of course, you are bested in battle and it is stripped from and your they body. steal it from us. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. 
I'm, I have trust in you. I have trust in you. I trust you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. I guess. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's faith. It's uh, what it is. It's faith. Uh, hmm. Why don't why don't we just have amulets no one else would have, but they're amulets and they're not worn. So a doppelganger wouldn't see them. Yes. And they're so, like in a pouch or a pocket. The only and, trouble, and I hate to open this can of worms, but if they read our mind, they're going to know that that's the symbol that they need. I mean, you just have it on. You're not constantly thinking about it, are you? Well, I'm gonna now. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> oh, this this is how his mind works. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Sli- look, it's okay. You slip it on me while I'm like slipping into my clothes somewhere while I'm sleeping. So I don't know where it is. I'll never know. It's fine. Mm-hmm. It's great. It's a great idea. I but you it. change clothes. You like want us you, to sneak like something you... on the rogue. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you also change clothes with a thought. There are holes in this plan. I admit. I... <laughs> what? Well, look, maybe, but maybe there's. I like this idea. What if you couldn't think about it? What if there was a spell that we could, if one of us is staying, myself, I... <laughs> now, wait everyone, a minute, Gosric. We're not leaving well, you alone well, again, either. <laughs> okay, okay. That obviously, but uh, I, someone else would stay back. I mean, I, I'm going to be the real. Honey. The honey, the honey can the honey? travel. <laughs> I, think, I think, and I do not trust anyone else being around uh, the baby without the honey oh, present true. to communicate, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, if they want to go, they should go, but Logically, I'm imagining it might be the two of us who stay. And sure. if the four of you want to travel or if someone else wants to hang out, I mean, hey, Virgil, I would, could always use your help in this project in terms of understanding this from that lens. But I also don't want to keep you from Kent and making sure that you don't get the doppel switched on you and mm-hmm. the most important person in your life. Wait a moment. <sighs> Didn't you tell me, Kent, about abilities we well that were gained after the fight with the Great Worm? Oh, oh a yeah. doppelganger couldn't do those, could they? I wouldn't think so. I don't know exactly how it worked, but I would assume that that Great Worm bestowed us, not our you know physical likeness, with that ability. So yeah, which means <clears throat> can I do this if I wasn't actually there? Do you want to find out? I take a small dagger out. This shouldn't pierce your skin with limited effort. Oh. <laughs> I'm mm. sorry, what? I mean, my strength is very limited. Like, I, <laughs> yeah, that's can, true. I will not be able to run you through with this. Da- it should be impossible. Gosric. Yes. I'm A, I'm wearing armor. Yes. So we'd have to find a, a gap between it, for sure, of course. Do, do you think I'm really going to stand here and tell you where the weaknesses in my armor? Maybe if you trust me. When have uh, I ever so- trusted you? <laughs> gotcha there. Please, you, yes. do rem- you, you do remember um, you have the- that oh, sh- there was mm. a point where you did feel you like it was actually the 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 day that you escaped you felt infused with um an unknown energy mm. that made your like when you set out to intimidate these people and help and get yourself out of here you were a little bit more fearsome than you've than you were before okay I, hmm, I'm unsure if this would work, but if we wanted to create something physical that could not be duplicated without its, without knowledge of it, I do have the ability to perhaps cause people to not think of things, not do things. It is powerful magic so if you Wait. are consenting to it <laughs> but it can it, it's it, it's it's not a small ask but out of character i'm basically thinking i can use mass suggestion if we do a thing 
then mass suggestion could at least for a day or oh. at higher levels for 10 days perhaps keep us from thinking about a thing that we did before it was cast. <laughs> mm, that is also way less severe than the only spell that was coming to mind for me, which I don't think any of us can cast, which is modified memory, and that's a little more permanent. <laughs> right, right. I, mean, I was uh, thinking mind blank. Uh, oh, that's one modified. too, yeah. <laughs> what level are those? Because, I mean, I can Well, also... uh, modified memory is a fifth level spell, but it's only for uh, wizards and bards. Gotcha. Uh, or sorcerers who have... <clears throat> oh. Yeah. Who are yeah. special. That's yeah. true. Special source. That's true. Well, um, it's fifth level. This, um. is, this is the lower. This is the. This is like the least lightest version of essentially yeah. just creating a hole in our memory. Yeah, I like <laughs> it. Actually, I like it a lot. Yeah. Um, if, if as long as we agree to it, I'm fine with that. I mean, wait, I have things I have carved that no one else would have, and if I give each of you one. And then a doppelganger, well, we got rid of my doppelganger and you'd have a token no one else could duplicate. And that we wouldn't be conscious of while we're there. Mm. Yep. Mm. And uh, I'm gonna run down to my workshop and get tokens for everyone. Um, Cause the real Salise had been working on this before she was abducted. So sure. for for Gosric, it's actually a reproduction of a soul coin, but it's wood. Cool. Uh, for Kent, it is a cape. It's like a little yeah. wooden cape. Sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> for, that. For, for Virgil, it's a staff. Oh. Um, like a whole ass full size staff? No, 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 no. Like oh. a like a like like your charms you okay, wear. Okay, okay. Like your soul. The charm size. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, I see. I see. I see. And then for, um, oh my God, I almost said Sharif, for Shaka, a hat, a little wooden copy of his hat. Aww. And my charm is Fenris uh, because no one else has Fenris. What's Dahani's charm? Dahani's is a paintbrush. Hey. Someone write that down because I'll never remember. <laughs> well, if we were to, if, if we were to, to gather these, hmm. I guess I'm not, I'm, again, Brian is not sure how it works. If we have them on our person, but don't know about them, can they be duplicated or do we get them and then put them somewhere and then we don't know about them so that they can, I, how do doppels do? <laughs> I was how thinking, do doppel, doppel. How, how doppel? <laughs> well, I was thinking you would all get your, your charm, basically they're charm sized. Mm -hmm like, like a bracelet charm mm -hmm. and you have them somewhere like on your person, you know, Kent could clip his to his actual charm thing for soul charms. And then you just, if you look at it, you're like, oh, this is lovely. I must have picked this up somewhere, but you don't think about it as a unique item. Maybe even put somewhere not immediately obvious, maybe like in a boot or sewn into a hem or something. Yeah. So that so... even even we don't, you know, we don't, because the other thing is if the doppels like capture us and strip us and take our shit, then it would you know, have the charm, but they would never come to know it, right? They would never remember so, that they have it. So mm -hmm. I should be focusing on working magics that allow us to know that we have the thing, mm -hmm. but perhaps do something or meet specifically with the item after a certain period of time. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, we'll probably mm. want to do more than 24 hours if that's okay, but yeah. So yeah. don't blame me if all of a sudden we're all in the wine cellar holding these charms in front of each other is all I'm saying. Right. <laughs> so it's it's Clue Rivals Edition. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All been yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, like I, I mean, I think I think that look at this point, I think that's as best as good a plan as any, and it, it seems like it's addressing the stuff we've screwed up in the past. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, okay, so how how far away do we believe that that it will take essentially to travel to and from? Because it can. It, this can work for a day. It can work for 10 days. It can also work for 30 days, which seems excessive, but if need be. Mm -hmm. mm, 
that'd be fourth wall breaking what i was gonna say um <laughs> we're already breaking all the walls. we never yeah. do that yeah, we yeah. never no, do that right. i was like there's uh, one episode left in the season make it for 10 days yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah how long are those smash cuts how, how long can we make those smash cuts? i mean we did one for a year so we did um so then perhaps in 10 days time yeah we are to meet in i would say the office but the kitchen <laughs> because we always meet in the kitchen because the kitchen yeah um, <laughs> we will we will meet in the kitchen and 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 simply um place these on the counter and at that point if anyone if any one of us does not do this it would be obvious that they were not given this same thing because I don't believe that I don't believe the magic can identify something that you can't think about if doppelgangers mm. are doing some form of magic on the mind. Right. I certainly hope not anyway. <laughs> don't know. We go find out. Um, so yes, that that is essentially the the short form is that Virgil would be willing um, to cast the spell and if people aren't resisting to it, he would put essentially a suggestion that at the end of 10 days um or honestly okay this is gonna be okay wow this is <clears throat> since we're going post hypnotic suggestion this is gonna be wild but uh the conditions of this are simply that um if if all six of us are together at any time within the duration of the spell not expiring so that's 10 days um, when all six of us together, because we're leaving essentially after this, uh, uh-huh. um, then we would, you know, at lunch, because nobody's up for breakfast, uh, come together in the kitchen, um, all bring our charms and, and, and show them to each other. Yeah. That's, that's as good as I can get. <laughs> I, yeah. Nope, that makes, that makes sense. It fulfills the conditions of the spell. And I like this. So, um, Sharif, while you were out, we basically all agreed to uh, give each get each of us a post hypnotic suggestion to do a thing when we're all together with I, with physical items that Celise has made for us. Uh, and when we're all together, we will at lunch just meet in the kitchen and and show them to each other. Therefore, if a doppel shows up and doesn't do that or hesitates like at doing it they might be a little bit suspicious. <laughs> I like it. Flips his coin and catches it. Perfect. And like tucks it inside of his hat. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Mm. Know what that hat looks like now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, we do. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, we forgot uh, Gosrika actually has hair. Mm, yeah, <laughs> there's stuff oh, underneath yeah. it. It's, yeah, that yeah, yeah. Hat. it's that hat that keeps you warm, but actually not really. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's mainly it's actually satin lined. It's just to protect his curls. That's really why. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> also, if you're looking for something, shameless plug, Kin. They've got great satin lined hats. Uh, they don't sponsor us yet. <laughs> I love okay. it. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So yeah, I will. I will throw that down at. Uh, Wait, hold on. I think I have to do it at the seventh for ten days. So, mm-hmm. Seventh, yeah. yeah seventh so, for ten days. You've all been mass suggested at seventh level, and that's just on all of us. I'm assuming I can cast it on myself. Please let me cast it on myself. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nope, no mass suggestion for you. You're. The- <laughs> <laughs> well, that was so, that was like kind home. of thing I was thinking. Like, so, like <laughs> what? Whoever, if it was like I, like sneak these trinkets on you, or if we're like they're like some person like one person has to know about it but that one person can't if that person yeah it, it was a whole thing so i'm glad that you can mass suggest yourself as well oh i see yeah, yeah, yeah. i mean i'm i i you know i'm 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 uh you know begging of the dm to let this be a <laughs> yeah no i was just gonna say like the the spell requires a wisdom saving throw but everybody is in agreement with this yeah, so you all yeah. we all choose to fail that wisdom saving throw right mm-hmm. So the conditions of the spell, just so that I am saying them so that when I watch this episode this week and plan next week's episode, the conditions of the spell are thus. In 10 days, the rivals of Waterdeep will meet in the kitchen around lunchtime. When the, wa- when the rivals of Waterdeep meet in the kitchen at around lunchtime and all six are present, 
you will present your secret tokens to each other as proof that we are who we are. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that that essentially would yeah. start after it would start after this is like the extra bit. It would start after after a day of this or after basically an hour after this is cast because we're all together now. So that would be pointless. <laughs> um, and it can be any time in the next 10 days. So it's not at 10 days, but yeah. So, OK. Yeah. OK. Um, in water deep week. In a water deep oh, week. Oh, that's right. I forgot. That's a week now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I think a water deep week is the best way to just d- determine however long it's going to be. Yes. Yeah, good point. That. Water I deep like week. It. There you I go. Like <laughs> and then so, I, um, they also, then, whoever's traveling also has the token of recall. So, like, I think oh, yes. in terms of getting back, should yes. be immediate. Like, no daily down. Okay. Spend as much time as you need out there. And then come back right. immediately. And then just get back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then the only other thing is that once the once the conditions of the spell are fulfilled, the spell technically ends. Uh huh. Yes. Um. Yeah. So if if all of a sudden it took them like no time at all to go there and back, and that was actually only let's say three days, and all of us are chilling in Troll Skull, lunchtime hits, and we all go to the kitchen. But okay. Like- okay. So okay. <laughs> No, the, so, there was the 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 part that I was missing was post traveling to where we're about to go. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, let's see here, because yes, uh, cool. if the condition if the condition is met. Let me see here. Yes, the spell ends when the subject finishes what it was asked to do. Mm-hmm. So Excellent. It's up to, but not exceeding, ten days. But, but now <laughs> we have to leave. We gotta go now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like yeah, I'm like uh, turning an we hour last like okay so hour, bet. yeah. <laughs> Um, and so, go. right, ready, go. Um, Celise, will you make me a survival check? And you can make that check with like advantage. Oh, I hope so. For me to have ranger, I don't have very good survival. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, you sound nice. I was Those gonna say, the... that was a good, good audio. Yeah, yeah. It, it did sound nice. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, assumed, good roll 16. 16? Okay. okay. That, yeah, those, those are that were wood tray. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. They're the di- they're the Dark Lord dice from Black Dice Society. Nice. I have another arcane hexbreaker coming because I couldn't not have one and not they're have so two good, for they're, not so so good. they're so gorgeous. Yeah. I need um, one. They're yes. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and if, if that is from Die Hard, you can use code Rivals to get your own. Yeah, so you can. can. Uh, uh, we will get back to the game in a minute, I promise. But when I bought my first set, I absolutely forgot to put in. So when I bought my second one, I was like, I'm not forgetting this time. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Let um, me so open yeah. that site right now. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Um, so yeah, so, so Lise, you do like the feeling of rage and revenge and retribution in your heart that you had for these doppelgangers for keeping you for as long as they did. You mm-hmm. definitely remember how to get back to where you were. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just a matter of how best you want to get there. I mean, obviously walking is going to take a while. Um, you could get horses, rent a carriage, all that fun stuff, all that all that fun, crunchy narrative stuff that you know people have to decide when they choose to leave somewhere. I think we should get horses up to a point. And then like when we're within about a half day's walk or even a day, um go on foot because we don't want to we don't want to uh warn them that we're coming okay all those years metal gear solid will come in handy mm-hmm. <laughs> they're boxes yes yeah, we yeah. have boxes we have a- we're apple crates now <laughs> oh, <I love laughs> that. that's funny <laughs> um and then the crates. last thing that i need you to do for me Celise, mm-hmm. is one moment while i do a, while I do a D and D Beyond Google. Mm. Oh no! I actually, Brian forgot how we're splitting things up. I think uh, Celise is going to the former place with whom? Well, Everyone but Dahani yeah, and Gosrick. I thought. Yeah, I don't think you and I confirmed which whether we were going or staying. Uh, Shaka is going with Celise for sure. Yeah, okay. yeah. And I think the 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 nature of the post hypnotic suggestion means that there's no concern about us splitting. So so yeah, Virgil's fine, like either way. But if Gosrick is cool, like 
I can hold it down here. I think um, you know, I have, with you, so we've got Tahani, yeah. I've got Duo, I have Brian, I have the baby, I have the natural defenses of Trosco Manor. Leaf is even here to critique my Leaf. cooking, but we will we'll, we'll, Leaf we'll is, Leaf is craft services now. You're good. Right. You're good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're gonna not be busy your testing cooking, the dog. Just cook juice. better than you. That's yeah. okay. <laughs> that's not that's right. not yes. better. That's not the better <laughs> phrase. You're testing that yeah. double juice though. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That double juice. It takes a pinky and my no, no you can't do don't. Oh. You can't use this. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> it's a little more of nutty go. than I was expecting. Okay. No, no, okay, off so we go. I just wanted to know. I just want to know. So Virgil and Kevin how we were doing the worst thing ever in D anD D. How we were splitting the party. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> Dahani and Gazric like. are staying behind. Everybody else is going. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. The final thing that I need you to do for me, uh, Celise, is to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh no. Oh, oh, <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, nice. I, I, I think, you know, plus... Latia's yes. been asking us all kinds of like things in the back. Like, can everyone, what's your this and what's your value oh, yeah, what's your for this? And I'm a little concerned. Right, right. Yeah, it turns yeah. out <laughs> we're we got bad passive perception on this. Movie. Mine's 15. Uh, also, I didn't answer earlier. That's okay time. because <laughs> yeah. I have a plus 10, so it's a 28. Oh. Nice. Okay, we like a roll. We like a nice roll. Perfect. That's sick. All right. These tungsten dice are earning their keep. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I am going to uh, calculate that in a moment. Um, but yeah, you, uh, I, actually, no, let me do it now because that's important. Oh, no. I have a fear. Nothing no. is going, nothing oh, is, yeah. legitimately, nothing is about to happen to you. You want us to, like, do some role play while, while you're doing that? <laughs> nope. I it, Mira, got no, because it. it will never stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, that's true. <laughs> we'll, that's true. We'll run over. <laughs> I got it. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, nothing, nothing bad, nothing happens to you. Nothing happens to you. Fantastic, fantastic. All right. Um, so yeah, you I think this is this is a good place to to end it for today because the the actually the journey will will be the end of it. So um, you can go get horses um, from a wonderful Jameson, Jameson the stable hand. Who oh, yeah, Jameson. Jameson. Yes. Uh, Aww, he, he, was... he works at a stable. Yeah. He's like, well, yeah, absolutely. I can. How, how long are you going to need him for? A week. Water a deep water week. deep week. A water, water deep week. week. Not a George week. <laughs> oh, leave or for, Gregory. Yeah. Sorry, Gregory. Uh, not Gregory. A Gregory. Gregory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not leave for Greg out of this. He didn't yeah. nobody. Gre Gregory is is doing his best, and he's a lot better than Julian. We don't talk about. We don't talk about wow, very true. <laughs> Deep cut. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you 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 pay for your horses. It's negligible because y'all are rich AF. Um, and the yes. the trek be, the, the the trek begins. And uh, I will briefly narrate that at the beginning of next week's episode, which will be our final for the season. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Oh. Wow, we have some baddies. Yeah, See, but how? Right. <laughs> how though? How is it already <laughs> ten weeks? It, I it, know, right? I'm so fly bye bye. Eleven um, weeks because we skipped one. Yeah, yeah we skipped one. It's That's 11. true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh. But thank you, everybody, for uh, coming to this extremely RP heavy episode, which is not a complaint at all. I love it when y'all start thinking about things because mm -hmm. then it means I have to think about things. Um, <laughs> does it? But it, it? It does. It does. Um, I will tell you right now that the whatever was going to happen ne next week is no longer going to happen. It's going to be something different. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, are you figure out what that is? No. Yeah. It's it's going to be fantastic. Yes. Uh, we'll get. We're going to figure out what that is next week. But right now, it is time for rivals questions. Mm -hmm. So you will see the command in the chat at the end of every episode. We take questions directed at our characters, not at ourselves. This includes NPCs, baby dragons, direwolf puppies, walking statues of Waterdeep, whatever you might be interested in asking a question about, and we will do our best to answer those. Um, would you, would you like a statue of Waterdeep? <laughs> I mean, if they're if if they're going, I mean, 
Yeah, is it big? Can it fit in my apartment? I don't uh, oh, yes, no. hold on. You oh, ask oh, questions. Oh. I'm going to go get my statue of water. No. And, we, and we do have, uh, oh, do we want to do, do we want to do questions or outros? What are we doing? Uh, we're going to, we're going to let the questions roll in as we do our outros. Hey. Right? Because I, I like that. Um, it's a good use of time. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, so realistic, like, like if we're talking about an actual in-game walking statue of water deep, no, that's too big. But uh, as Tanya will will show, uh, you can get a much more compact version of the Walking Statue of Waterdeep to go on a really nice shelf. Um, so while she goes and gets that, we're gonna go in reverse order. Oh, she's back. Mm -hmm. We're gonna we're gonna look at it, and then we're gonna get, uh, and then we're gonna <gasps> take a look. Oh no! That sounds like sword. Ooh, oh, that's, yeah, that's pretty nice. Oh, and yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Wonderful cool. walking statue. Trying to catch up with the questions. From... There are so many good ones. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. From our friends at Wiz, from our friends at WizKids, who are purveyors of great uh, plastic miniature offerings. Yes. Um. Well, we're gonna go. Oh yeah, look at that ice spider. Yeah, and you can paint it with some of their paints too. It's great. Excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, so many, so many, so many. Um. Mm -hmm. But yeah, let's go around and starting with Masood, who's going to tell us what's going on. Hey y'all, I'm Masood. Um, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Marudboy, M-A-H-R-U-D-E-B-O-I. Stuff that I got going on. I've got um, this show here with you all on Sundays playing Rivals and having a blast while doing it. Um, I also stream uh, myself playing Elden Ring on the Rivals channel throughout the week. Usually on like Tuesdays or Fridays, I'll post about it. You'll keep an eye up, keep an eye on our uh, Twitter to see when that is happening. Uh, um, he's Gosrick is now available in Idol Champions in the Green Gas event till April 18th. So please uh, do yourself a favor and go pick him up. It, it will behoove you if you need more ice damage, if you need more armor effects, if you just want more gold in your finding. Gosrick's gotcha. Um, also got some great synergies with the other rivals as well. So really just uh, complete your kit. Um, other stuff that I've got going on. Um, I have a show that'll be uh, beginning. Um, on the I Need Diverse Ch Games channel in a few weeks that I'll talk a little bit more about next week as we're getting closer to that. Uh, that's starting on the 27th. Um, we're playing Blades in the Dark and it's going to be a blast. That's all I'll say for now. And then uh, other than that, um, I'm in a show here in Chicago. If you're in the Chicagoland area and you want to see me uh, perform comedy and do that sort of stuff, um, come check out the show Spliff Laugh Love at the Annoyance Theater opening uh, March 21st, running until, uh, I believe, for eight weeks into June. It is sponsored by Dispensary 33, so it is a weed-based show, yeah. Uh, that's fun. It was nice to, like, write about it for a concept. And uh, also kind of mess around with that space, so come check it out. I'm really proud of it. Um, yeah, that's me. Uh, up next, we've got Eugenio. What a pass off, I'm honored. Yeah. All right, hi everybody. Uh, I'm Eugenio, I'm DM Jazzy Hands. Um, <clears throat> you can find me on Twitter and here on Twitch at DM Jazzy Hands. What's going on tomorrow night, uh, eight Eastern, five Pacific, uh, the next episode of A Familiar Quest, uh, where my character, Colonel Pest, the pest mascot druid, uh, is traipsing through Barovia, just getting like truth bombs that are really destroying <laughs> his entire psyche oh, no. every week. Oh. It's wild, um, but it's a good time and creepy and also funny and it's a good show. Uh, so th this one is our last pre-recorded episode. We had a little break while uh, Shaka and crew took care of things with the Raven Queen. Uh, so we pre-recorded a few episodes. So tomorrow night's episode, uh, was pre-recorded. I'm going to try and be in chat during the show. Uh, and then the following week, we will be back live to finish out the season uh, with a very special surprise new cast members starting with us next week. Uh, not tomorrow, but a week from. Uh, so check that out. Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, I stream Mass Effect Andromeda here on Twitch on my channel. Uh, and then I'm back here on Sunday with more of the rivals. I think I have a podcast. I have, I have their Wednesdays, new podcast episodes. Check us out. I think that's it for me. <laughs> All right, Brian. Hi, uh, I am Brian, <clears throat> AKA Urban Bohemian everywhere on the internet, except for TikTok, which I don't use TikTok, so it doesn't matter. Uh, this is actually a quiet week for me. I stream on Twitch three days a week, Sunday, Tuesday, and Saturday, and I don't have anything special happening, so I'm probably gonna indulge in some games. Uh, I played Tiny Tina's Adventure, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, which was a lot of fun. I also saw 
Um, I have been, I finished and binged Our Flag Means Death, and someone did a uh, Gay for the Pirate King one-page RPG that I really want to play on stream because it is so simple and fun. Yeah. Um, so we may be doing that on Tuesday or Saturday morning as like a treat. Oh, yeah. um, then coming Sunday will be uh, will be Animal Crossing, and then back here with the Rivals crew. And um, this uh, month, I am raising money for Players versus Cancer um, uh, for the American Association for Cancer Research. It is their Spring to End Cancer campaign. So if you hop by my channel, uh, you can do exclamation point donate and uh, get a link to that. And we're raising money for a good cause. Otherwise, just hang out and support. Appreciate it either way. Hey, Sharif. Hey everybody, uh, Sharif, uh, you catch me at sharifjackson.com, S-H-A-R-E-E-F, jackson.com, Sharif Jackson on all social networks. In addition to here, you can check check me at the Kira 858's uh, Twitch channel, uh, playing a Mage the Ascension campaign, Be Bonds Beyond Time, so wrapping up uh, season two of that show. Um, and other than that, really, it's just, just daddying and grading are the main things. Uh, oh going on right now and it is a lot <laughs> it's a lot um but uh but like i enjoy looking forward to these games and stuff for for like a little breath of fresh air heck yeah and tanya uh surprisingly this week is pretty light we've got um black dice society on thursday streaming on my own channel because validate is out soon um and uh i have some keys for it and uh, what else? I'm trying to think. It's not this upcoming week, but on the 18th, uh, we're going to actually come back and finish the Kitten Caper that we started to do for Weva. Uh, Brian is in that game. And uh, we're just going to have silly fun and rescue kittens in Waterdeep. So that is the 18th. And the other news I'm sitting on, can't talk about, so follow me on Twitter. So when I can't talk about it, um, it will be there hopefully this week before I leave town for a thing. Um, so yeah, Cypher Tier everywhere, come by. I may even stream tonight, who knows? Cause I need to work on my 3D printer and I may stream that, I don't know. And, and I have been your dungeon master and a gorgeous, gorgeous birthday girl, Latia G. Peace. You can find me everywhere on Twitter and upcoming my website, latiagekeese.com. My birthday present to myself was finally buying that domain name. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a quiet week for me too. I may stream some stuff um, depending on how I feel about streaming some stuff. Um, and I think that's it. Um, I am going to take this opportunity to shout out our producer, uh, the Noir Enigma, who has a music show coming yeah. up in Chicago That's on 420. Right. Oh, heck yeah. He freaking does. Uh, so if you want to go over to his Twitter, their Twitter, at the Noir Enigma, and find out all that fun information, you can go listen to Noir, play some tunes, because he's an awesome musician. Yeah, I said it. You can look at me all you like in that Zoom window. I got you. Just, just <laughs> watching, watching Noir. Yeah, oh, okay, oh, see. There goes. Yeah, there turn there off like, okay. mm -hmm. I see how it is. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now, we got a bunch of questions. I actually got a bunch. Let me just let me catch up to see. Ones. I put a bunch in the Zoom chat. Uh, I, I don't think you've missed any. I think they sort of stopped having it after that last one. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. everyone scroll up a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's start with the first one. Uh, how does Dahani feel about staying at the manor with Gosric Duo and Brian as support? I'm okay with it. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of splitting the party, but I think that this is an okay split. We've got like lots of physical and magic on the one team, and then we've got me with the physical and Gosric with the magical on on team on on home team. So I think this will be pretty good. I don't think anything is going to happen. I'll work. Well, we're gone. As long as they're gone, it's going to be fine. Uh, the second one is for Celise. Uh, any lingering physical injuries from the doppelgangers? You okay? I mean, it was a year ago, so no. Oh, when they took you, yeah. Yeah, physically fine. Emotionally, that's a whole other kettle of fish. Sure. This was specifically about physical specifically, injuries. Specifically, so. physically, yes. Yeah. yeah. No, physically, she's fine. She's, like, a Good. little hungry, a little tired. Um, She really I mean, needs, same. like, 
I mean, same IRL. Um, <laughs> but she, uh, she's just like tired and sad, but she's not hurt. Good. This one is also for Selyse. Uh, no. If Selyse made Fenris a charm, what would the charm be? Make a charm out of Fenris or a charm for Fenris? <laughs> for, for Fenris. No, Kent is the one Selyse who would is... make a charm out of Fenris. <laughs> right, 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 right. No, because I you think know... Selyse, Selyse's charm for herself is a carving of Fenris, but now making oh, a carving uh... for Fenris. Sure, sure, sure. Oh. She would, would be a, give... a smaller thing of Fenris? No, she would actually give him a Cerberus. Because mm. of, because yeah. because um, I hope I'm not mixing up the two shows. But when he fooled us with the Cerberus head, no, that, yeah. no, no you're yeah, right. That's, that was, that's, yeah, that's, that's our us. Fenris. Yeah, that was yeah. yeah, yeah. That was Look, at the too much D and D. Too much D and D. Question. Who's next? Uh, okay, fine. I'll read. Dahani, yeah. what are your thoughts on the Doppel Juice yeah. experiment? And has Gosric recruited you to help yet? Of course he has. I just wonder. <laughs> I wonder what its paint qualities are. Can I paint like? <gasps> you know, if oh. we turn this into paint, can it become any? Oh no! Oh, Dahani, no. Dahani, big brain has been activated now. Yeah. Oh, no. oh no! Is this what that paint that Gosric got is made out of? Is it right. made out of doppel juice? <laughs> oh, oh my like, god! Oh, actually, I, like take the other paint kit. <gasps> <laughs> oh, that's how the doppelganger is. Oh, god. I'm like, no, you know, like those paintings in old medieval castles. Yeah. Someone's painting the rivals instead of Dorian Gray and them aging backwards. It becomes a doppelganger. Oh. Why are you coming for the painting? Oh, of my I don't appreciate that. <laughs> um, no, I don't know what you're talking I about, Brian. Do- I just think the doppelgangers are now going to have a class action suit against the witch like carnival. Like, hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Come on, dudes. <laughs> Doppelgangers are just walking disguised self spells. We yeah. figured it out. Uh, yeah, we figured it out. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, right. I love it. Question I love it. for any rival who wants to answer Which figure of Waterdeep are you suspicious could be a doppelganger? Everyone. I mean, that's the problem, isn't it? Right. Right. Like, <laughs> right. yo. I really like that idea of Mert being a doppelganger. I'm telling you, I, 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 yeah. I really, I really, I think, it, I think it could be. You know what I jo- what just came since since it specifically says are we were or oh it says suspicious. Well, I'm saying worried. Um, is it occurs to me that there's one person in particular that if they are in fact a doppelganger, a, a not insignificant portion of our upcoming plan could fall apart, which is Zephyr. Because if that token of recall doesn't work. <laughs> oh. oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh. I didn't even think about that. Maggie might be. I honestly, I feel like the Biddy, I feel like the Biddy squad is probably the best, the best chance, the best option we have. Yeah. Because you know how like yeah. the old, like older people all of a sudden start controlling everything just by passive aggressive comments. <laughs> Like that is their plan to control yeah. the city of Waterdeep through passive aggression. I'm here for that. <laughs> and cookies. And cookies. And cookies. Oh, seriously, they already got Shaka. Like they yeah. right? <laughs> Hook line is sinker. Um, Shaka, Shaka, I gotta Shaka applaud got whoever, got. If, I gotta if, if they whoever their boss is for these tactics, because mm-hmm. Yeah, they ask me to jump. <laughs> right. How high? Every layer action is just fresh baked cookies. Like that's it <laughs> it's no 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 every layer action is like a childhood food that you would like <gasps> hurt somebody yeah. to eat it just oh, takes up right. whole action is it or do eating. like the do like amusement parks and home sellers do like it's not even the actual thing the layer action is just the smell of that thing <laughs> and everybody has to make like i don't know whatever whatever saving throw you would like wisdom or something against it to be like i am I'm done. I'm in a world of nostalgia now. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Stunned for one round as you become uh, uncontrollably <laughs> hungry. <laughs> nostalgia makes sense. Yes. Uh, as the nostalgia think... makes your stomach growl. Uh, we um, have one more and I'm checking for other question. questions. So yeah, we have one more. And this is for Brian and Duo. Mm-hmm. How surprised were you about Doppel Solis? And does Duo think Solis is a ghost now? Mm. Um, well, to answer your question about whether or not I think Celise is a, 
ghost, no, because I saw Celise and then there was another Celise that became a puddle. So that that's not how ghosts work. And I know this because I am a ghost. You it's a very complex thing to become a ghost. And that was that is not how you do it. Um but I uh do I I'm not particularly worried. I mean, well, let's be honest. I did not realize this whole time that Solis that was here was a ghost, but we're just going to forget about that because who am I to who am I to decide what people want to do with their lives? And if that doppelganger wanted to be Solis, there had to be a reason for it, I, I assume. Um, and it's at this point that Brian, uh, yes, Brian, who is uh, cleaning the counter bartender style is like, no comment. <laughs> Blue. Brian, like the real Brian, clocked it immediately, but just didn't say right. it. <laughs> Brian should have clocked it. Yeah. Brian should have no clocked comment. it. No comment. No Brian. comment. <laughs> He's a literal brain. He yeah. should have co- computed it. <laughs> just, I, like I don't want to look up doppelgangers because I don't want to metagame because we're yeah. dealing with them, but now I really do because I am just very curious about how that whole thing works. Mm-hmm. Do it. Live your best life. I trust you not to metagame. Plus, if he does, you could just change it. Doppelgangers could work different for us. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Like, do you do you think the doppelgangers? Wait, wait. Do you think the doppelgangers that I I, I sprung on y'all in candle in candle keep were 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 rules as written? Official. No. Well, I saw content. I yes, saw your were. whole thing with Amy and D and D Beyond, so I one hundred percent know they were not. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, they were straight out the monster manual. Yeah, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. Yeah, read as written. There you go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, we are gonna get out of here so that uh, we can enjoy the rest of our days. I'm gonna play a bunch of Elden Ring. Do it. Happy birthday! Um, it's happy, your birthday. Birthday. happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> If you haven't yet, go check out uh, Latia's uh, Kofi to help them get a stream deck today. It's their birthday. Send them in some nice love. Yeah. And also go go read the critical role call yeah. for the other dude. Yeah, do all this. Go read that thing that I wrote. Yeah. <laughs> and tell me, tell me how you tell me how you're playing it and, and which rival you smooched. Mm-hmm. Um we're gonna yes, go not right. us. Heck, the ones wait, what? The, the ones in the book, not us. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. The rivals yeah. in the book. Oh every time rivals. someone <laughs> refers to that rivaling adventuring party in Call of the Nether, yeah. I think it's us at first. <laughs> I, yeah, I was you. about to be like really excited for him and like, we're in the book. Yeah. yeah. Well, I need them to be like the opposing, point. not the rival, because I can't get straight <laughs> <in the game. laughs> As I was writing it, I was like, the rivals, no, not no. <laughs> yeah. There's yes, some great you are, in idle champions, rivals. and you can smooch our bobbleheads. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh Dahani's bobblehead is okay with being smooched, but smooched at other people's. Ask ask about other bobbleheads before you oh hilarious. Consent. Um, yeah, can't it's, sure yeah, it's it says it. it says on the bottom of the of the bobblehead which rivals are okay being like. <laughs> making, making yeah, 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 that's like our formation synergies. Like you can only yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I do love that. Um, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go to Ray Technic. Everybody have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for the birthday love. Thank you for coming to see us every Sunday. And I cannot wait to show you how we're going to conclude the season next week. We love you all so much. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you next week. <laughs>